Hi guys. Well, Team Hospital came through the post this morning, along with the brake pads for my uh, Claude, which I fitted, and uh, the Claude butler is now perfectly rideable. And the brakes still aren't, you know, sharp as hell. I can't skid on it yet. I might do after I've bed him in half for a while. But uh, I'm having problems with Theme Hospital at the minute. As you can see on the disc, Theme Hospital. But that's not what's actually on the disc. Let me just log on. I've tried this on two different PCs, which is why the desktop behind this laptop is on. Yeah, I've changed the monitor on that as well because the black one, which is down there, is defunct. It's not working. Well, I'm going to have to eject the disk and start again to get it to auto run. For some reason, despite the case side of Theme Hospital, and the disc zone theme hospital it's got Grand Theft Auto London on it you'll see what I mean in a minute you might be able to make out that blur up there but uh, what I'll do is I'll click install game and as you can see in big letters, GTA. And you can yeah, you can just read it, Grand Theft Auto. And uh, I have checked the files on the CD itself, and I cannot find anything on there related to. Uh, Um, theme Hospital. That's what it is. There's the um, icons for GTA London. Uh, setup folder, there's nothing there, just the setup files for the game. The same with these. Oh, that's an empty folder. What? Yep. So. <laughs> No, it's a system folder, user folder. See? Absolutely nothing. But uh, I have contacted the seller, and if I can't get it working, they said they'll uh, refund me. But I don't know if I'm going to bother, to be honest, because it is only a Three pound game. Keep going to the desktop mouse. We've got a desktop mouse on this. Sorry, we'll shut that down. Leave that on there for a minute. Now I've installed. GTA London on this one, but I don't know if it's going to work. Nope, it's sort of opened and closed again. <laughs> Here's the settings. Oh no. We've got to have the disc in. <laughs> Might have to have the disc in. Ouch. Bad me on the poxy table. Ooh,
Okay. No, it doesn't want to work on this one either. Well, bollocks to it then. I could have for what to put those um the sound through the monitor because it's got built-in speakers. And that do that action. So, yeah, that's one of the other monitors I've got in the latest lot of computer parts. It's not too bad a shape, it does need a clean, as does that one. That one's a bit faded as well. I assume that started life as a nice sort of creamy beige colour. And uh, sunlight has got to it and browned it off a little, same as that one. I've got one more relatively clean one in the shed, but uh, I need a 12 volt adapter for that. I'm not sure I've got one man enough. But uh, the others are pretty badly faded, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. I'm going to check them to see if they work. If anything, just for something to do, but... Right. I don't know what to do for the rest of, out the, rest of the day now. Uh, wrap those poxy frames up, I suppose. So I'm hoping Mum will drop off the um, hmm. postage labels for those frames and wheel tomorrow. monitor to go in the crap, that doesn't work. Well it does, but there's something wrong with the actual screen and it's not just a flickery screen. When I tried it earlier everything was faint as hell on the screen, so there's obviously an issue there somewhere. Is <laughs> how cheap monitors are these days, then it's not really worth the hassle of trying to fix it. Hello fluff butt. Smile for the camera. And I'm not sticking snout all over it. We could easily go back to bed. Quite easily. I can't remember what else I've got to come through in the post yet. Oh yeah, that power adapter. I'm still waiting that on. Uh, that's right. Uh, and obviously the laptops. Um, Coca Cola. Nope, can't think of anything now. Do it somewhat better to stack with my laptops, really. Not unless we stack them on that coffee table over there, because that's got a stronger shelf. And then I could perhaps put the scales under here. I might do that, actually.
Yeah, so I've got the uh, cord working, or the cord's brakes working well enough to use now. Uh, the brand spanking new pads, so they probably want bedding in. It came with like a, um, well, I think it was an alcoholic wi um, wet wipe to wipe the disc rotor with, so I did both discs with it. Well, it smelt like an alcoholic wipe anyway. It was more like paper than a soft wipe. I did give the di um, disc rotors a clean. Hmm. And, uh, the more I did use it up and down the road, the better the brakes were getting, so... Front one's not too bad. It'll stop you well enough. Rear one's stopping me a hell of a lot better than it did. Mm. I can't skid or do sh end or stoppies on it or anything like that, but... I don't really want to do that anyway, I just want to stop. What is he looking at on the screen? <laughs> Smile for the camera. This must have a soft, soft mood on this morning, or this afternoon, I should say. had a message yet from the lad that bought the PC from me. Uh, still got stuff I can put on eBay. I do love this chair because it leans back like this. I'll go as far back as it will go. Hmm. I suppose I should get some more shite sorted out. Might even have a bath. I did feel like going on a cycle ride, but one, it's pretty windy today, and two, we keep getting rain showers. And I think it might, it might be showering now. Or it might have. Nope, it is raining. Yes, yeah, so I won't be going on any rides today. I want to go to an abandoned house, but uh, it's in the middle of some woods, or on the edge of some woods, I should say, and it's going to be rather muddy to get to it now. Mud's not a problem, but I don't want to get caught out in this bloody rain showers. Before I wrap this one up, I must remember I've got to find the um, rear derailleur hanger for it. Although the person did ask this morning if it had one with it, and I'm pretty certain, actually I'm 100% certain that it did say in the description. Because I made sure it said it <laughs> to avoid questions. Like that. Because those two, they um there. Giant and the racing frame, they don't have a hanger. But with a bit of searching on eBay, you could find one to fit it. You've just got to find one that'll match the pattern. Um, yes, we're going to get these um, bubble wrapped up. I've got five rolls at 99p. I wanted the longer, the um, wider, longer rolls, but nowhere's got them at the minute. Roy's used to have them, and I went in yesterday, and I only had two short rolls, and uh, which was pretty much the same as that for one pound. A penny more than what you can get them for in QD. I can't work that out. Uh, never mind. Yeah, but those five came from QDs and. 99p each, so 
I saved about 5p. <laughs> wow! Saved 5p. Ooh, that's coming down out here now. Coming down out here now, that was a bit nothing, wasn't it? Actually, to be true broad Norfolk, I should have said it. Coming down out here now, boy. Ooh, it's getting harder. Yeah, definitely not going... Oh my door buzzer. Don't tell me I've got a parcel already. Hello? I have indeed got a parcel, so... I'm just going to shut the camera down. Oh, goody! Look what's arrived. Well, I know which set of laptops it is, because, uh... It came via UPS. Poor bugger. <laughs> Caught out in the rain. I suppose he hasn't got time to wait for the rain shower to end, has he? Not being a carrier and whatnot, he's got to go against the clog. Couldn't watch so many carriers, you know. Drive like nut jobs. You know, always see the vans zipping around everywhere, and you see the. Uh, Packed up in really dark places. Which uh, can be annoying when they park up in dark places, but uh, I'm hoping. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do it there. I'm going to take you into the kitchen. I'm not sure I've got any room in here. I have to clear some space because I've got breakfast. And whatnot. Uh, so, I'm going to turn the camera off again and I'll be back in a moment. Great, back again. Sorted, I think. Got my trusty Stanley knife. Apparently, these are classed as dangerous now because of that retractable blade. I can understand why because I have used these before and the blade has suddenly gone doink. <laughs> so, I think that's the reason. You can get Stanley knives like this that don't retract where the blade is permanently out. Um, but I think that's more with carpet fitters, my stepdad always um, had one, a non-retractable blade one. But for cutting tape and boxes like this, it's perfectly good. And always remember folks, you should cut away from yourself. That's what I was always taught in school. Tell you what, for six laptops, bloody heavy. Right. Oh, they look like they're individually um, bubble wrapped as well, so. Here's number one. There's really six in there, because that looked like that's a bit deep for six. Right. <sighs> I need to sit you on something, really, don't I? But what I'll do. I don't know what I can do. I can get those to sit, sit level. That's not going to... <laughs> um, that's not going to work. Uh, right, I'll, do, I'll sit you there. I'll point you down a little bit and hopefully there's something in the shop. Yeah. Right. Knife. I've cut myself for one of these before, it is not nice. These stanny knives really are bloody sharp. I just went out and bought all that bubble wrap, you know. And I've got all this bubble wrap here now that I can probably reuse. I'll have to patch some areas up on those bikes when I do. But, uh, well, so far this seller will get positive feedback because laptops are well wrapped, and well packed. Uh, postage time and shipping time is pretty quick. Um, you know.
though, given it was bank holiday weekend, so I can't complain there. I'm unwrapping this laptop. I haven't actually got a bloody clue which one it is I'm unwrapping. I've got a better idea. Let's just go straight down the middle. I'm trying to actually avoid hitting the laptop if I can. It's the IBM ThinkPad. Windows 98, second edition. Well, as I know from the description, this one is already falling to pieces. <laughs> There's a piece of plastic come off it from somewhere. I uh, can't actually see where though. Oh, well, it's obviously not important. A little bit of plastic like that isn't going to affect the function. I have to say, that's a nice one. It is pretty clean. As described, it's got a horrible sticker on the top there, but who gives a monkey to that sticker? It's not going to affect how it works. Right. It's got a slot on the bottom for a docking station as well. Oh, it might fit one of mine, actually. So, I'm going to throw that down there and stand the back tops we've done there. So, next one. That's rather thick. Uh, there. HP because I see an HP symbol on there. Um. <laughs> oh. I'll give the seller credit there, they are well wrapped. Which is good because I think we know how bloody couriers can boxes around, although I don't think I'd have been throwing this one around very well because it's bloody in. I don't think six laptops can weigh that much. Well, they feel pretty um, light on their own. But you put six together in a box like this and bloody hell. He actually brought it up the stairs on his shoulder it was that heavy. And he managed to run up the stairs. <laughs> must, have been, must be a bloody fit... Um, Currently, driver. I actually have to say that HP might be in pretty good clean condition. I think I've got quite a bag here. I can't remember which one it was that was DOA. Mm. Was that might like clean off that mark. That's all right. Windows XP. Let's give you a quick look. See, it looks pretty clean and tidy. There's the lid. There's the underside like. Built in floppy drive. Foam. All the usual ports on the back. Got a seed. I think it's just a CD drive. I can't quite see. Oh no, it is a DVD drive. Well, I 
certainly would have enough bubble wrap here to at least wrap around one frame, so that's good. I will recycle it. Oh, recycle it. Pun wasn't intended there, but it's still a pun nonetheless. It's another Toshiba. Another Toshiba, I mean the first Toshiba. I think it was one of the Toshibas that was DOA. But one dead one out of six isn't bad. That's where the CD drive missing. That's not an issue because I've got them. Where's the bug where is? Windows XP Pro sticker on it. Pentium 4 NVIDIA Graphics and oh, Silo Pro. Is that the one that was DOA? I'm going to have to look at the uh, stickers left a mark on the screen there. Obviously where that screen has been closed. Again, this one looks uh, pretty tidy. Uh, no touch pad mouse. It's got one of them stupid little track things. I think that's the one that was dead. Where the orange lights only flash, the one no other light in it. But like I said in the listing, it was listed as the other five works, so six so, uh, no eighteen quid I should think. Yeah, eighteen quid for the whole job lot for six. That's quite ch a bloody cheap bargain. I'm going to keep an eye on that seller because I'm pretty certain that he's the type of seller that would get or put up job lots like this fairly regularly. So I'll keep an eye on him and if there's any more job lots like this that catch my eye and I've got the spare cash on my uh, go for some more. One of them was a dead one, but I can't remember which it was. This is the Tekra. Yeah, I'm pretty certain it's the satellite that's dead. And that the Tekra worked. A bit dusty. See? <laughs> Dust lines on the screen from the keyboard. Oh, it's got a key missing. I don't know. It still works. It's still got the pad there. Uh. I don't know what button it is, it's control button. We'll see, yeah, that's what CTRL stands for, isn't it? Control. That's what I've always called it, anyway. Yep, nice Tecra. Your marks here and there. I'm not expecting them to be mint. I do use laptops. What's that? That's only four so far, so I've got another two to go. Another one. One more in the box. I think it's got a nice big box for something as well. One there. One there. Another layer. I don't have much bubble wrap here. I could probably do about two of those white frames. me off a bit because I wouldn't have needed to have spent so much on a bubble wrap. It's a 
another one for Windows XP. That is very nice. Very, very nice, this one. Look at that. Pentium M on this one. Designed for Microsoft Windows XP. Right. That can go in the pile. So I've just got two more to arrive. Last one. Only reason I went for this job lot because uh, all machines were intact. In that, uh, I didn't have screens missing, keyboards missing, or anything like that. In um, some of the other job lots he had up there, there were some which had screens and whatnot missing. I didn't uh, fancy that. It would alright if there was only the other one or two, I wouldn't have minded, but. I'll have a look again, see if he's got anything else up there. There was another job lot I did have my eye on, but someone's already beaten into that one and bought it. So, uh, that doesn't matter, I didn't have, or don't have the cash for it anyway, so. Uh, Compact Evo. That actually looks pretty damn nice. Doesn't allow it's got a hard drive in it though. It uh, does look nice for me. I'll come back. It's a very clean and tidy machine. Drive, it's a Windows XP machine. Well, it will be when you get a hard drive on. There's the underside. It's not a Pentium M1. Nope, no charge in the battery. <laughs> Just trying the luck, you never know. Yeah. Well, that's made me happy today. Was in a pissed off mood because of that game, now I'm in a good mood. Well, there's only one classic one there, but I don't matter. Whack Windows 98 on that later, I think. I think I can, I think I've got the power of that because I'll fit on it. So, to recap, I've got a Compact Evo, an RM, which is probably one of them cheap budget ones that we used to get them out, like, um, the hell was that one I had an Ergo, a bag of wank and all that Ergo, I ended up throwing it. HP, two Toshibas, and an old IBM ThinkPad. Hopefully I've got a charger that'll fit here. So. <laughs> so, yeah, thumbs up. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take you through. We're going to go on eBay and I'm going to leave them some positive feedback. I don't want that case anymore. That's what I think of that theme hospital case. Uh, I've already got eBay open, so that's good. Let's just lift that monitor up out of the way. Let's find that job lot. Uh, Lee feedback. Well chuffed with that. Positive. Fast shipping. Perfectly described. A plus 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 plus. 
several years ago. Well, I intend to years ago in any way. Any feedback? Uh, let's visit my eBay again. Scroll down. Okay, so the more actions view. You sell as other items as well, what to look at. Oh, it looks like the job lots may have sold as he hasn't got any up here at the minute. Oh, he's got one for sixteen ninety nine. Uh it's not bad price. I'm sure that's the one I was watching actually. That he took down. I thought it sold. It's got Dell Latitude, uh, powers on posts, but screen is smashed. Um, there's an HP NX7010, which powers on and posts okay. A Compact Evo N620, powers on and posts okay. Toshiba Portage P3480, no charger to test. Uh, then there's an Ergo Ensys S Z91E. Powers on and posts okay. And then there's a Rock Clevo Co., whatever the hell one of those is. <laughs> uh, powers on, comes up with keyboard error. Might be a faulty keyboard on that one. Well, you know what? I've added that to my watch list. Any other job lots, or has he sold them? I know he had quite a few. Yeah, there is one of the ones is it on screen. Gone past it, I think. There it is. It's this one here. But, uh, as you can see, they've got screens missing. There's one complete one. Two complete ones. But I think, yeah, he's only selling this one for a tenner. <laughs> Yeah, if only I had the cash. Nine ninety nine for that. Yeah, I'd go for that. If anything, just because of parts. Uh, what's the description say? HP NC eight thousand uh, power on and posts. Keyboard missing. Fifteen inch screen has a few lines. That could be a dodgy screen connector. Then we've got Dell Latitude D510, missing keyboard, screen and bezel missing. Uh, it might be that one, or it might be that one. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, they're both Dells. Oh, that's not a lot of help then. Dell Latitude D810, question mark. Came in missing too many parts, so was not tested, assumed DOA. Uh, then there's an Ergo. Screen and bezel miss missing. It posts OK once RAM and CPU are fitted, not included. Uh, an NEC, Versa. Powers on, posts OK. And there's a Dell Inspire on. Powers on posts OK once RAM is fitted, not included. Ooh, so there's a good... ...couple there, isn't there? Whack a keyboard in that one, that'll probably go. Might get a keyboard to fit out of one of the other machines. <laughs> Franken laptop. I've got it in my watch. There's two other people watching it, so it might go before I can get the cash for that. Uh, any others? No? Oh, and he's got this one. I think that's... Oh, he's got four pages, so we'll have a look. What's he got for this one? There's three...
complete ones in there at least, from the look of it. One missing a keyboard there. Those two are complete. It's a widescreen laptop, that's an HP I think. I can just make out the HP symbol. That one's missing keyboard and screen. And so is that one. What have we got? We've got Fujitsu. Keyboard missing, lights come on, no display. Yeah, it's probably a dud. Dud board, Core 2 Duo machine. Oh, could have done with that. HP, powers on, posts okay, sometimes won't enter BIOS. Might want the BIOS resetting then, or reflashing. Oh, and there's another HP that does exactly the same thing, apparently. And there's a third HP. Powers on, no backlight. Uh, it could be a, a um, screen inverter gone, then. I do have a bunch of them, but I don't know if they'll fit. Socket for most point on keyboard broken. DOA, no power up on another eight. They're all HP machines, apart from the top one. HP, DOA, oh, most of those are dead then from the look of it. Mm. Four watches. Nah, I don't think I'm interested in that lot. If I'm going to be spunking out money on laptops, I'd want at least several that actually work. There is another job lot of six. Who does job lots of six? I wonder if it's because of the postage. There's an IBM in there. I will watch this one, if anything, just for the IBM. I don't know what model IBM it is yet. I'll have to go down and have a look. Now there's got a lot of HPs. And Dells. A Dell Latitude, D610. Powers on, but sometimes freezes on post. Flexing machine slightly affects this. It's a suspect reflow issue. And there's an HP NX8220 below that. It does the same thing, apparently. Freezes on post, suspect reflow issues. An Acer Aspar 5535, screen and bezel missing. Uh, came in missing screen and CPU and is assumed faulty. A Dell Latitude E4300, Core 2 Duo. No RAM fit though. Screen smashed and bezel missing. Will power on and post OK when RAM fitted. Another Dell Latitude. We'll power on and OK. And post OK when RAM fitted, not included. Screen smashed and bezel missing. So there's two like that. Fujitsu Lifebook. Will not power up DOI. And the IBM. Powers on, post OK. Has BIOS password. Or oh, I've cracked passwords before, so that'd be a nice challenge. <laughs> Hopefully it wouldn't matter. It would only be a problem if I'd have to change the boot record to a... or the boot, um... Oh, what'd they call it? Boot sequence. And it goes through to look for a boot. Because if you're going to boot from a CD, you'd have to set that as the first boot device. But uh, if I don't have to do that, that wouldn't be a problem. So there's another one in my watch. It's got bases for laptops as well, but they're not a lot of use without screwing. You could use them as a computer, I suppose. Just plug them into an external monitor. That's certainly save on a desktop. And save on space. Maybe you plug in an external keyboard and mouse as well. Bloody cat. Uh, he has got screens here as well. I might actually follow this seller. Don't think he's got any more laptops now. He's got bases and bits. But at the moment, I think that's all the job lots he's got. Yeah, it is. Oh! 
I don't know, I might change my mind close to the time and not bother at all, but you never know. I've got nothing to really sell and make some money with anyway. I suppose I could sell that brick at spares or repairs. Well, not at work, so I've just got to shove a hard drive and some memory in it and then, and then, and then, and then, and then, and then install, sir. Uh, oh, for God's sake. <coughs> install an OS on it. Sometimes I think my tongue goes on vacation, you know. Right. Laptops. Well, the IBM is a definite keeper because it's an oldie. I like my oldies. Windows 98 boot discs are all you really need to do. I think it's still got a hard drive attached. I'll have to check the thing. Oddly enough, though, this doesn't have a full disc drive fit. So you got, well, it's got a DVD drive fit. That's a bit of market for a Windows 98 laptop. That would probably run Windows XP at a push, but that would probably be bloody slow. I think that would be pushing it as well. Not struggled with my Windows 2000 Compact Armada down there. Uh, don't think any of those laptops are actually quite old enough for me to try and put Windows ME on them. Easier to store my great Toshiba satellite um, separate from its docking station. That might be a better idea actually because I'll stack better under there, won't it? I'll take that off. Right, I'll do that then. So, uh, yeah, that's, oh, that's going to be it for this video. It's a lot longer than I actually ex expected. But, uh, Figured as I had already had the camera up and was making the video, I might as well just go ahead and add this onto it. There's some nice XP laptops in there. I'm going to go through the um, description again just to re remind me on what was what. More so, which of the Toshimas was dead. I'm pretty certain it was this Satellite Pro. Uh, I've had a Toshiba satellite pro before that I found down the dump when uh, we were able to go down there and basically pick up whatever we wanted and we used to give the lads down there a bit of a cash <coughs> but uh, ever since they got strict after May Gurney took the contracts over around here and they put a stop to that you can't take that and they put fucking cameras up everywhere just to make sure their staff obeyed the rules. Tossers. Spoil all your fun, don't they? Mm, uh, some of the recycling centres do have a shop on site, but electrical goods cannot be sold because obviously they'd have to be tested first. I think is ridiculous because if what I read the other week is true a lot of electrical goods that we think we are recycling down at these recycling centres are actually ending up being dumped in Africa which to me you know, defies the whole point of recycling 
if that's what our government is doing. I don't know if it's true. You know, it's hard to know what to believe in the news and what not to believe because there's so much bloody twisted stories and one-sided stories from the media and bloody scaremongering and I don't know what else. Anyway, I'm going to end the video and uh, I may record whatever I get up to later. I've still got to... I'm going to have to... Uh, to um, find that red rubber. It's still attached to the EM red railer that came off that throne. So if I want to find the uh, railer, I can find a bit for that. Which I'll uh, tape to the frame in a little um, Ziploc bag that I've got in the bedroom. And I'll tape it with masking tape so it keeps it in place but won't damage the paintwork. You know, just in case they don't want to repaint the frame, because I don't know what they're going to do with it, do I? They may just build it up as it is, or they may decide to give it a nice fresh coat of paint. Someone already has, because that's not the original colour. There's some purple around the top here, and underneath <laughs> there's some red. So uh, someone has uh, given it a that black on the bottom bracket looks original, so that might have been a, I don't know, a tricolour frame. And someone's just gone over it with some flat black from the look of it. Really, if they want to keep it black, they could just uh, go over it again with a can of black. and Or a couple of cans of black. To get a nice, good, thick coat of paint. Let it dry in hot sunlight or a heated room to get a good hard paint finish and lacquer it and bobs your uncle which is what I might do with my own racer because that needs a better paint job than what I've done. Well the paint job itself is fine it's just that I didn't lacquer it and I didn't really put too many coats of paint on it so uh, that's a job for the f in the future I think anyway i am blabbed on too much, so I'm going to end the video, and uh, if I get up to anything, like, I don't know, testing more monitors, or checking laptops, or whatnot, I'll turn the camera on and make another video. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thumbs up, or thumbs down, entirely up to you, and uh, I'll talk to you again.